Well, thank you all indeed very much for letting me visit the university. And I'm here not just to see an excellent university, though that is a reason itself to come in, and also because we're announcing today a very significant investment by the BBSRC. We're going to be spending 67 million pounds on the future of research in food by producing no fewer than Six hundred supporting six hundred and sixty four-year PhD students in fourteen doctoral training partnerships. Doctoral training partnerships are BBSRC's way of dealing with a really important aspect of the training of future scientists. We want not just the best students, not just the most excellent training, but we want to work with the universities that are delivering that training. We want to be in partnership with them. We also want to encourage universities to work together in partnership, and that's why we're so delighted that the BBSRC Doctoral Training Partnerships, we've awarded 14 and announced 14 today with 44 different institutions. We could have had 44 separate institutions, but we would not as an organisation have been able to have a relationship with those. We can with the 14 partnerships. That's very important. And one of the key places where those partnerships are going to be delivered is here at the University of Reading. And what it does is it reflects the commitment of the coalition to our science base, where of course we protect the science budget. So we've been awarded a doctoral training partnership along with the universities of Surrey, Southampton, Lancaster and Rothamsted Research. And we've been awarded 18 studentships to look at, uh, uh, to do research in the food security area. Food security is a major uh, research area for the University of Reading. We've got a long-standing reputation in agricultural research, food research, and all of the sciences that surround that. We have a very important food sector in Britain. It's right that we back it by supporting the research on which it depends. But the great thing about these new doctoral training centres is they're going to be partnerships between researchers and business. We've got here today companies like Waitrose and Kraft and the researchers who are doing research that is directly relevant for those businesses. My project's a BBSRC drink funded project and I'm looking um, at the effects of coffee processing on um, polyphenols and then um, subsequently potential health benefits or effects. So looking at vascular function, gut microflora, potentially looking at some um, colon cancer um, and also the chemistry which underlines the whole process. It's absolutely integral to have links to industry throughout the research. Um, they give us a lot of background information about the processing which otherwise we wouldn't have. So this is a case study in how supporting the science base is also going to enable us to support the businesses in the future. We've put significant new money behind this collaboration and I very much look forward over the months and years ahead to see the production of excellent research scientists will be able to go on and work in business and I'm sure valuable research projects like the one we see here. Let me finish just by now offering you an explanation of what we see here uh, because we're not in a garden centre. <laughs> university and what we see here is a research project on how the production of cocoa beans is potentially affected by climate change. And this matters for countries in West Africa like Ghana it matters for companies like Kraft that clearly buy large amounts of cocoa beans. So we have to understand how climate change might affect cocoa beans. And this is one of the world's leading centers for that research. It's a good example of how genuine scientific research uh, matches real commercial needs and also shows our commitment to 